What's up everybody? It's your girl AC of KissDetroit.com Here with the winner who took it home for the D of the Andre Harrell Superstar Soul Search that partnered with KissDetroit.com 105.9 KISS FM mm -hmm. Please introduce yourself to the people. How you doing Detroit? I'm Just Right. I'm a singer, songwriter, producer here in the Detroit area and yes I did win the Andre Harrell Superstar Soul Search competition. So with that being said, what brought you up until that point? Did you just start singing yesterday, or has this been something your whole lifespan? I heard maybe your mom pushed you a little bit of a Miss Joe Jackson, if you will. Yes. Elab elaborate on that. Basically, uh, I started singing early. Uh, I actually started out playing the drums at the age of three years old. Uh, and I went from that to uh, singing when I turned about maybe nine or ten. That's when I noticed that I was living at home with the female Joe Jackson. Uh, when I would endeavor to learn or sing a song, she would just have me go in the bathroom, sing in the mirror with the song, and she would tell me, don't come out until you have every note right. So she's pretty much been my inspiration, my trainer, my backbone, and the one who's given me the push to pursue my career vocally. So that's pretty much, that's it. That's it. <laughs> Love it. So has there been anything previous to this competition that, you felt was a milestone or almost just confirmed that you're on the right path, that this is, it, this is what you're supposed to be doing? Yes, it's been a lot of, a lot of milestones. I, I consider everything that I do to be a milestone because if I wasn't doing anything, then I wouldn't be moving at all. Right. So anything that I do is a milestone. Uh, something great that I would consider would be the fact that I had a chance to perform for President Bill Clinton at his inauguration. I had a chance to perform for Mayor De Dennis Archer. Uh, I think his name was uh, John Conyers, the congressman. I know his name is John Conyers, but he's a congressman. Uh, several other big dignitaries in the area. Uh, I've had a chance to work with, uh, with Fred Hammond. I had a chance to work with uh, Livestock, several other uh, local acts I've sung on a lot of people's CDs around the city. Uh, so I've been a pretty, pretty busy man musically. Love it, love it. I'm glad that we are finally here to expose that. So can you tell me when you were actually performing going in, did you feel that you had a good shot at winning this? Or were you kind of like, I'm not sure what how hard Detroit is going to come? What was your feelings previous to finding out that you won? Well, my feelings were scatterbrain because when I went into the competition I was only expecting to sing a two minute song and I had went home and got in the studio and I said okay Andre Hero only wants two minutes so I said let me make my original song one minute let me make the classic one minute so I put them both together that was all I was prepared to sing you know I didn't have any plans on making it to other rounds I just went in there with a humble attitude and a humble spirit you know willing to do whatever I needed to do to get the, to the next level so as the rounds advanced and I found out that I made it to the next round, uh, I really became even more scatterbrained because the songs that I, that I sang, I didn't even rehearse. So it was like, you know, spur of the moment type of uh, situation for right. me. I had to get the music out of the car. It had gotten so bad. Uh, but you were ready. Yeah, yeah, I was ready. You're ready. You yeah. don't need to rehearse. That's what, no. I'm going to say that for you. You don't okay. need to rehearse. Well, even the greatest needs to rehearse, you know. Very, I mean, you gotta practice, which yeah. I'm sure you do in your spare time, because yes. music, it's what you do. Exactly. But you were ready. He had it in his car. You always, yes, you never know. Ready. You had ready. your elevator moment that people talk about, you know, that elevator talk, but you was ready right there on stage. Yeah. So, when you got announced, Andre came over and shook your hand. What was your feeling in that moment? My feeling was like, wow, you know, I wanted to go crazy, but, you know, I had to hold my composure, <laughs> stay smooth, you know, and shake Andre Harrell's hand and, you know, appreciate, you know, be very appreciative and look him in the eye and tell him thank you, you know. But I was so excited. I wanted to do flips and, like, tear up the whole stage. That's how excited I was. But, you know, I was that excited because this has been a lifelong dream and it's been something that I've been waiting on since I was five years old. So, you know, I think everything came out great and I think I'm going in the right direction. I can definitely agree. So going forward, going to Atlanta, um, what have you been doing? Have you been preparing? Do you feel that you're already ready? You're just going to do the same thing? <laughs> <laughs> what have you been doing to prepare yourself to take over Atlanta like we hope that you do? I've definitely been preparing. Uh, I'm trying to put together an all-star 
list of songs. Uh, I don't just want to go in there with the B-side songs. I want A-list hits that I want to master and hit every note and I want people to be able to identify with the songs that I sing and I want them to feel the feeling that they felt the first time that they heard that song. And I just want to go in there and captivate my audience and show them that the person who needs to win this competition, you know, is here. Not in Detroit. The attitude, but the person is here in Detroit and that I'm willing to represent the city of Detroit and whatever other city would like for me to represent for them musically, I'm willing to do whatever I need to do. So I've been working very hard, making sure I know all the lines, all the lyrics, all the riffs, all the runs, you know, to the song so I can uh, successfully uh, execute the song <laughs> in a great way. Which I... I don't think you'll have a problem doing that. Real Thank talk. You. True talent right here. Thank you. So is there anything else that you feel our listening audience should know? Or there's anything that you want to get out? A message to Detroit, to your national fans who's watching now that you may gain within this whole superstar soul search? Well, I just want to say I'm a, a very humble artist. Uh, I'm very easy to work with, very easy to talk to. Uh, and I just want people to understand that I, I want my, my voice to be heard and used as a national monument for people to understand that, you know, you can do anything that you want to do, you know, as long as you put your mind and heart and soul behind it. And I want my, when my voice is heard, I want it to actually be the voice that enables the hair on your arms to raise up and stand out. I want my voice to, you know, make people feel good and feel warm inside. And I just wanted to let everyone know, you know, just I'm here and uh, I'm ready. So you all can visit me on Facebook at www.facebook.com slash just right J U Z W R I G H T. You can also visit me on Twitter at just right J U Z right W R I G H T or on YouTube R P right three two eight. And uh, that's about it. Well, I'm on MySpace also. Um, that's MySpace.com slash R P A W three two eight. Right, so if they visit YouTube, is there any specific song they should be searching for to really get a feel and just to feel captivated? Well, they can just, in the search bar, put in Just Right. Uh, you can type it in J-U-S-Z Right or J-U-Z Right, and like maybe about 13 songs will come up. And it will give you a pretty good feel of what I do, but I really, my audience, I really connect with them live. You know, I would definitely say that my... My live performance from my CD performance, uh, they're, they're different. Uh, they're not completely different, but they're different. You know, you feel my energy when I'm on stage. You know, I vibe off of my audience, and my audience vibes off of me.